Hey everyone, welcome back to Rayman 2. Sober this time. Uh, that last episode was quite something, wasn't it? At least you got some enjoyment out of it. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty drunk. Uh, we had friends over, as I explained. Listen, I went back to this stage and I got the remaining one cage and four lums. Mm, three of the lums that were left were in the cage. The rest was on the, the remaining one was on the sliding door. Or the sliding on whatever, you know. Anyways, this is... I love this level. This is the walking shell level. There's something in this ga game called a walking shell. It's basically a rocket horse. And we are going to take it for a ride in just a bit. But before we do that... Uh, there is a secret here right away. Oh, that's the exit. I don't remember this secret. Anyways, let me like properly introduce this episode. Anyways, I went back. I got the one cage and the four lums. I got to the bonus stage because of it. Turns out that shit is still impossible. Whether you do it sober, you do it wasted. These bonus stages on the PC are fucking impossible. I just cannot do it. You have to mash. If you didn't catch it in the last episode, because I'm not sure if I explained it. Oh yeah, okay. So basically these things get tired, and then when they're tired you can ride them. Um, yeah, you have to mash left and right on your keyboard and that shit is like impossible I don't know if it's because I have like a kind of mechanical keyboard but it just doesn't work doesn't work without giving me fucking carpal tunnel uh, so yeah that's my explanation military academy please respect the need for total silence yeah um, so that's the gimmick of this stage you probably noticed oh Fuck, I'm stupid. You probably noticed that uh, most of the stages so far are centered around the key mechanic. That's kind of how this game works. It's how a lot of these old type platformers work, you know. Okay, so that's what happens when it gets tired, you know. And then, yeah, you ride it. This is pretty funny. I like the walking shells. Um, mainly because they make horse noises, uh, which is hilarious. So, yeah. Oh, of course. Homing on both pirates at the same time. Anyways, these are like the low tier ass pirates. And these ones are... These ones are bitches. Yeah. Anyways, this stage, you'll see what happens. Uh, this is also a stage we cannot complete right away. But I ain't gonna spoil it. So anyways, that last episode was straight up uh, gormless. Uh, absolutely gormless. Uh... Yeah, whatever. I had a lot of Jaeger. So basically what happens, uh, in case you haven't seen my explanation on why I'm an alcoholic, <laughs> I'm not, but, you know, it's summer. Uh, everybody's coming home, you know, friends from abroad, relatives, everybody's here, you know. And everybody wants to meet, you know, hey, we can come over. Or we tell them, hey, come over now, or we're free this weekend or that weekend. And aside from the drinking, you know, I'm just explaining why I haven't been streaming uh, for a week again. Listen, as I said many a times, um, I don't like leaving big gaps between streams because it kind of kills viewership. Uh, but, you know, sometimes... Just, you know, life gets in the way, uh, sort of sometimes unintentionally. Today, for example, as well, uh, I got home from work and something came up and I had... I just killed myself. Okay, whatever. That still worked. Um, but I did kind of just off myself. So, yeah, I had to work more, you know, and now it's like... 
Uh, I have a bunch of shit to do, gotta walk the dog, and all that other stuff. Um, and sometimes, you know, again, like, life gets in the way. If I was a full-time streamer, certainly things would be different. Uh, but, you know, the other thing is that my work contract, the way it is, uh, you know, I work flexi time, which is really good because, you know, it's like if I need to, you know, I don't know, go to the bank in the middle of work or uh, take care of some government business, you know, like paperwork or, I don't know, go to the dentist or some shit, you're like free to do that. But flexi work also means that you're not, not that you're expected to work at night, but you know, it's like, it's just how it works, you know. I sometimes would be screwing myself if I didn't, like, uh, spend some time taking care of stuff, because then I'd not have time for my regular day's work. Not that I'm, like, a super, you know... God, not even hard working, because that's the bad way to put it. But, you know. I am dedicated enough, I like to think. But that means, you know, sometimes streaming and all that gets... Not put on hold, again, that's a bad way to put it. You know. And the music here is sick. <laughs> that fool dead. And we have this dude. Clark. This is pretty awesome. He kind of did freak me out as a kid. Well, whatever. You need some life potion. He's straight up dying. Hidden near the entrance of the Marshes of Awakening. Yep. You know that area I was talking about? The Cave of Bad Dreams. Cool. Don't forget it. Does he? Do you have to choose? I don't remember. So aside from the fact that this dude kind of did freak me out when I was little, um, he is helpful. And this is why I said you won't be able to complete this stage. Uh, so we gotta go back and go right here. The Cave of Bad Dreams, now that is some kid nightmare fuel, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Oh fuck, okay. I nearly walked straight into the swamp. Again, I didn't even have a single drink today. But, uh, yeah, this is some kid nightmare fuel. Like, this place is something straight out of Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is, I think, the exact same thing I said last time, but you'll see, you'll see. Um, personally... This level didn't freak me out, but I do find this place annoying. Yep. This guy has an awesome voice. Keep it for yourself if you beat me to it. I mean, just look at that. That skull. With the fucking portals in and now it's in his eyes. Yeah, Cave of Bad Dreams. The music, also pretty good here. I mean, look at the, the ghosts and everything. This place is awesome. It's like completely different to all the other levels. And I really want 100% this place because this is one area I kind of hate redoing. Because... Uh, the thing about this level is that it's very linear. Um, but luckily, there's only yellow lumps in this place. No um, cages and shit. Yeah, again, it's completely different. Like, the enemies are unique. Um, just the whole atmosphere. Speaking of... I was talking about Courage the Cowardly Dog. I was re-watching old Courage scenes. 
some of them are on YouTube. Man, that show was awesome. Like, you know, like, could a cartoon like that even get made today? I guess so, because apparently there's some weird cartoons out there, like, you know, Adventure Time and shit. Oh, yeah, and that's what happens. You get, like, dragged inside, like, fucking... You get, like, eaten by a mimic. Or some shit. Again. You probably understand why this used to freak kids out. Yeah. But it's all good. I just gotta be careful again. I'd prefer not... Oh, this is mad. This section is mad annoying too. You gotta fight these fools. And again, what they do is... They kind of like... Come up behind you. So you gotta like... You know, go unlocked. To kill them. Like fucking... Oh, they're dead or... Am I confusing this? I am confusing this with a later level, yeah. One of these fuckers shows up later in the game too. Uh, like a, an elite version. It's like much harder to beat. This like the, doesn't take you up to some like lump platform, doesn't it? Does it? Doesn't it? Does it? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Look at that face. And we have these things again. Uh, from... Episode 1. Oh shit. What's the deal here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the level splits. Yeah, yeah. So, we gotta get the two color orbs. Okay, well, if you're gonna hand it out like that. <laughs> the fucking music. This is like a... What is it called? A theremin. That's the thing that makes that noise. And you can make it with any synthesizer, but a theremin is like the OG way to do it. That's that thing where if you don't know where... Oh, fuck. You know, it's like an antenna, and the closer you move to it, the higher the pitch gets. I almost said it was a Mellotron, but no, Mellotron is something different. Did I get them all? I did. But there is such a thing as a Mellotron as well. I can't believe I just did that. That was unbelievably... That was unbelievably stupid. Oh shit, did I get teleported forward? Did I just accidentally cheat at the game? I think I did. Okay, and what you gotta do is... Oh, uh, like kinda... Throw this shit, not upwards. That was unbelievably stupid again. Never mind. Never mind. I got confused whether you need to like helicopter down or... Um, or not. I guess that's like the only two options. That's not a lump, is it? No, it's not. It's just something in the... Fuck, come on. Rayman. You're a lock on straight. Man, this kid's game is pretty hard. Actually, it's not. It's not as hard as fucking Smash. That's, you know... I was asking in the Discord... Uh, all the Smash players... Um, to give me some helpful tutorials. And you guys did. Appreciated that. Uh, I'm trying to learn Smash, but... Man, is that game difficult. If you're trying to, you know, like not mess around with friends, because... You have Smash, you know, as a party game, which is a thing. And then you have Smash if you want to sort of play, not professionally, but you want to be actually good at the game. Which is something completely different. That's my phone. I'm recording. Sorry. Um... I lost my... Oh, yeah, yeah, Smash. So... Those two things are completely different, and I'm trying to, you know, get okay at the game. But it's difficult. It's just because of the mentality, you know, I'm so used to the the game plan, I guess. It's not even... it's a bad way to put it. I'm so used to a traditional fighting game. 
<laughs> okay. That's an excellent job. Did I just... Fuck. I guess you can just keep throwing it, yeah, until it lands. I'll stick the landing eventually. You can't do that forever because if you do it here, I think it spawns it back at the original platform, which would be... Pretty bad, aside from the fact that I nearly managed to suicide myself again. Oh god, the camera. Oh, please cooperate. God, this is gonna be... Because you get the idea... Oh, it doesn't... Why did I remember it taking it... Okay, that must have been like Rayman hard mode that I was playing. Because I sure as hell don't remember this happening. Oh, I think it doesn't work on these spinning things. Yeah, that's where it uh, respawns it on the pre previous platform, because that shit is like, you know... I <laughs> love his fucking throwing noise. Eek. He sounds like a bitch. I don't even like exerting himself, you know, to live this fucking orb. Yeah, and then you gotta get it for the weird mouth to open. Shit, I didn't hit it. It's like, you can hit that, and that was my Kobe moment as a kid. Are you kidding me? That's all? This is already the boss fight, isn't it? Hold on. Where is the fucking... Come on, just jump. Motherfucker, just jump in. Okay, I guess I can't play this game when I'm so... You have got to be... <laughs> okay, that was the most difficult. That was unbelievably difficult. Oh, now, now, here's some nightmare fuel for you. Watch this. This section. Okay, this part of the level did freak me out. Because look at this fool. Yeah, he's creepy as hell. Okay, there must be some lumps here because... I like legit. Oops. If he jumps in the hole with us as well. I mean, look at that. Like, his mouth. He looks like a fucking xenomorph. Except he doesn't have the little mouth. Damn, where the fuck are the rest of the lumps? And oh, there, there's one. Okay, there are lumps here. Uh, I don't remember if he can actually... I think he can actually hit, catch you. Yeah. I mean, this is a cool angle. You gotta admit that, right? How many times do you... Oh, he ate me. How many times do you get to be... Inside the fucking boss's mouth when it's cha- Oh, there- I think there was a lump there. Okay, I gotta get eight. I think the boy saw a lump. Right. Oh no, that's just HP. Yes, don't worry, this guy is not difficult. He is a boss. Uh, one of the... Five bosses in this game, I think? Fuck! Oh, what the hell was that? That's not how physics works. Talking about physics in this game, right? Okay. So, this might... I might make this look more difficult than it actually is. But believe me, it's not. Again, the chances of you actually dying in this game are fairly fucking low. Okay. Just... F oh! This is the problem I'm running into. I hate... I hate using space to attack. Uh, that's like the worst. But the space is just a shit button in general. It's not even a button. It's a shit key in general, you know. Um. Anyways. Am I gonna get eaten again? No, I'm not. Fuck. Again, there's some nightmare fuel for you. Okay. Still missing a lump, though. Please tell me there's a lump here in the boss room. Anyways, this dude... So the deal with him is... He's gonna generate these skulls. And what you gotta do is... You gotta... Fucking stop them to generate platforms and then just get to him and he runs away
And that's about it. Ain't the most difficult thing. I mean, this is... He's like a half boss. As you can see, he doesn't have an HP bar or anything. Or anything like that. But that's kind of the... That's kind of the gimmick. He's more of like an environmental hazard. I love his hat, though. Um, damn, he's spitting fire. Super hot fire, that's what he is. He goes first. Is that too far away? No, it's not. Hey, there's more HP. Not that I need it. I swear there has to be a Lum here somewhere. There's no way there isn't a Lum here somewhere. There it is. Oh, yes. Wait, hold on. Hold on, just fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, he goes there. And then we gotta, like... We gotta, like... Oh, fuck. Stop, stop. Okay. There we go. Expert level. Yeah, I remember this being not very difficult. Um... Generate this because fuck oh the turn turn radius is bad All right There we go. There we go. There we go. Can't even see it. I Just jumped by accident. I'm stupid. Oh Fuck uh Oh Houston we have a problem. Yeah, I fucked myself. Okay, luckily, uh, it doesn't, you know, this isn't Dark Souls. Am I gonna make it back? No, I'm not. Okay. So the issue is you gotta space them out so you can jump straight across, because if you don't, uh, because of the distance... Am I? Did I just screw myself? I think I did. Yeah. Okay. Final attempt. I swear I'm good at this kid's game. First of all, you always get 2 HP. I didn't know that always spawned back. An easy mode. Oh, come on. Oh, he missed me. I shit fast as fuck, boy. Okay, I can make it from here. Can I? Okay, he can... Okay, he can grab on. Thank fuck for that. I was really worried for a second there. Alright, cool. Look at that shit. Give me the cash. Listen, this is... They're putting kids through a moral dilemma. Watch this. Do you take the cash? No treasure for me, bitch. I'm gonna help my friends. There is an alternate ending, which is pretty funny. Um, I think it makes you redo something. The boss or the... There's something, like, you don't want to pick it. It doesn't just let you go back, if I remember correctly. There it is. This is fucking like... It's gotta be some like a wheat potion or some shit, I swear. Um, it has to be. It's a wheat hot chocolate. It's gonna make the big dude feel better. So anyways, that was the Cave of Bad Dreams. Um, again. A bit of Rayman nightmare fuel. Fuck. <laughs> okay, thanks. You just put me here. Luckily, you can just exit. Uh, how long have I been recording? I think that's... I've been going for like half an hour, right? 
I think so. What the hell is that? Is that the side chick? Oh, that's the cave of bad dreams. Okay, and he's there. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. We're gonna go back to the men rear heels, heels in the next episode. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. This might be a really short episode. I was an idiot and I didn't start a timer. Um, but whatever. These are two fun levels. That was episode 3 of Rayman. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're already over a third of the way through with Lums. So yeah, we'll pick it up from here. We got the second half of this level to go. This is a pretty lengthy level. That's why I'm not starting it. And then we can move on to bigger and better things. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. Peace out.